Hey everybody, it is Monday the 9th of August. As you know, there wasn't a vlog last week. I just never got around to vlogging. Not a lot happened. Um, as it turned out, the end of the week, lots of stuff happened. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, as you can see, I had my hair cut Saturday morning. And we went out Saturday afternoon just to Newport Adam to eat in TGI Fridays. I stopped at the shop to get something and then my car wouldn't start. So I walked around to my mum's because she lives around the corner and had a cup of tea and then we walked home. And then yesterday, Sunday, my dad tried my car and it started. And then he tried it again later and it still started. So we walked Jennifer down to nursery this morning and now we're going to go shopping because we haven't done a food shopping this week. So my dad is going to drive my car down to the nursery and then we'll all go across the Lidl's, do a load of shopping, then back to mum's, hopefully, as long as the car starts, for a nice cup of tea. So why don't you come with and we'll have a look. I've got to walk down. Lucky me. <laughs> it's a Monday evening. Jennifer's in bed. Oh, we had fun. Walked down and picked her up and her granddad picked her up. She was so pleased to see him. And then um, we went, dropped his prescription in. Well, my ear's a mess. I tied it back. What there is of it. Um, went to the to the shop in at Lidl's to get the food. Bought all the food. Well, hey. Food is topped up. And then went to mum's, had a cup of tea and a pasty with me dad. It was lovely. Back home and Jennifer's been watching TV. I've been colouring. We've been playing. See, she's in bed. I am swatching the Bambino crayons. Paul thinks it's hysterical. <laughs> Look, look what, what are you swatching? What are you swatching? What are you watching? He said, I know, swatching! Swatching! He can't get the boyfriends, can you? And I'm waiting for season three of Ghosts to start. So I'm watching a few videos till that comes on at half past eight. I love Ghosts. Can't wait for the new series. Yeah, it's funny. Anyway, anywho. Got one order packed because I've had one order, and that's it really. We'll do some filming later. Yeah, lucky me. And I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's still Monday night, and I am trying to film my complete pages. But I had two memory cards. The one memory card's full, and the other memory card is not recognising it in the camera. So I'm transferring the files to my PC, hoping they're all going to go because I know. That there's not much space on my laptop but saying that I've only got a few books to go so 90% complete please finish that's all I can say I want it to finish it's hard going um but yeah it's nearly midnight and I have not finished this yet obviously I'm not going to be uploading anything so I will be editing the first video together tonight I'm just hoping it will because they never transfer them in order so it's very hard to know so fingers crossed 93% so there's a good chance it's going to all make it then I can format the card finish it delete anything I need to all that I can even if it means uploading something um, to the channel just to get it out of the way and then I'll see what else I can do. That's it, I'm going I'm to knock off for tonight because I'm going to go to bed soon. I'm hoping I'll be able to finish this uh, video, even though I won't be transferring it straight over until I've got rid of some of the files on the PC. But that's it for tonight, it's been a really long day. <sighs> Probably because I had to walk down the road twice and up once. So I'm going to knock it on the head. I did get a book today. Um, I had a £10 voucher from work. Um, and I ordered this. This is Marilyn and Me by G Min Lee. She tells the story of somebody who was a translator in Korea for Marilyn. Um, yeah, so it says Korean War's over and Marilyn takes the stage to entertain the battle scarred soldiers. Seems like a dream, the starlet singing amongst the rubble. But Alice, Marilyn's translator, knows the waking reality of life in wartime. Once she was Kim Aeson before the war stole her name and her happiness before she worked only to survive and forget. The two women find unexpected solace in each other's company, but when she's recruited by the Americans to assist in the entrapment of a communist spy, Alice, along with the secret she's been keeping to pin, finds herself unwillingly pushed into taking centre stage. I've heard this is really good, so. Lovely picture of Marilyn and Korea on the front, which is always a nice picture. So it's another one for my fiction book collection on Marilyn. But yeah, I'll probably read this in the next day or so once I've sorted out 
what I'm doing. It's now done it. They're all on there. Hooray. I'm going to quickly format the card and go get on with the next one. I'll see you later. Good morning. It is Tuesday, the 10th of August. My God, isn't it going fast already? And um, yeah, I'm just setting up to work. Got to, some YouTube covering on at the moment. Um, yeah, today is plans. So work till 20 to 12, then at 12 o'clock I've got an appointment at the doctor's. Um, nothing serious, blood pressure sort of check thing. And then, um, one o'clock I'll be picking up Jennifer and we'll go into my mum's for the sauce and chips like we always do on a Tuesday. Um, I wasn't planning on doing any video in tonight but I might do one just to get ahead of the game with these um, colouring book collections because I want to get a colouring chat in as well this week so I want to get that filmed. Um, yeah, it's good, honest, it's good. Yeah, just busy, busy, busy as usual. I'll see you after work. It's Tuesday evening, went to the doctor's, blood pressure's high. So I've got to do a week full of readings and then go back again. And it's not surprising really the way Jennifer kicks off and gets me a little <sighs> uptight and wound up and stressed. Isn't that right, Jen? You eating some soup? Is it nice? She's having some soup. See? It's chicken and vegetable, isn't it? Chunky chicken and vegetable. She likes that one. Uh, so I'm going to put it to bed soon. Hopefully relax, have a shower. I was going to film tonight, I'm not tonight. I'll do it tomorrow. I just want to relax and watch some TV. I'm going to watch some YouTube. I'm going to watch a fancy bit of true crime, uh, missing people and stuff. And I'm going to watch a channel called Gabby Losis, which is a really good one. Check it out. She's really good. Does a missing people video crimes, DNA and all that stuff. It's really good. So there's that. And then tomorrow's Wednesday. Yay. It'll all come out all in the wash, as my mother used to say. Well, she still does, actually. She's still with us, so. But, yeah. I'll decide what we're going to do tomorrow. Yay! See you in a bit. Tuesday night, I'm off to bed. I've just been sorting a few things out. I'm uploading a video. Um, I was going to do filming. I've decided not to, because I've had a shower, and I'm nice and cool, and I just don't want to get hot and bothered. I've got three videos that need to go up, so one's going up now, it's only a flip through. Tomorrow will be part three of colouring uh, book collection, then part four on Thursday, and tomorrow I will try and film another two colouring book collection, which hopefully will be the end of it. And then we'll, next week I'll do the supplies, but I also then um, want to do a, and do a colouring chat either Thursday or Friday. But yeah, it's all going well at the moment. I can't believe it's Wednesday, peak of the week tomorrow. Yay. Happy days. I've done a bit of colouring today, not a lot. I'm not, I'm just taking it easy. Take a step back this month. I'm not going to overdo it. If I only do five, ten pictures instead of 20 odd, that's fine. I'm just... I'm relaxing into it this month. Next month, I might push it a bit more. It just depends. Just relaxing. I'm watching a photography YouTuber called Asriel Knight. He is absolutely brilliant. Somebody else I really like to watch. I tend to bulk watch things. So earlier I watched two or three Gabalosis um, crime videos and I'll probably watch some more of them again. Possibly tomorrow. This morning, instead of watching colouring, I was watching various Marilyn documentaries because I was in that sort of mood. Uh, but now I'm in a bit of a photography mood. I've got a camera down that I need to finish the film off so I can uh, list the camera on eBay and sell it. Um, and I've got a load of other cameras I want to try it. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm not too worried. I've only got two or three left on that film, so I'm happy to get rid of it. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good and uh, I'm just going to chill out, read for a bit, go to bed. I'll see you on Wednesday. Hey guys, I'm at work. Um, just doing it, just looking at some information on a, an email um, that I've, I've got in my queue. Um, I'm watching uh, the old camera guy today, something different. Um, this is the game changer right here. So I'm just looking at something. Yeah, and I am. Um, I haven't got it set correctly, so just one minute. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, I'm just watching this. I've actually ordered myself some film from eBay for the camera. It's only Lomography Lady Grey. It's out of date by two months, but it, it's fine. It's not that, that bad. 
two months for black and white is fine. I just thought I'd, it was at 10 50 for three rolls. The log and sell it in date for £16 three rolls. So I thought, well, why not? Let's try it. It's cheap enough. Um, when it comes and if I like it, I'll get it. It was ten fifty with free shipping, so I'm thinking that's a bargain, even if, you know, it's just something to try. If you're wondering what these lines are on my arm, it's from having my blood pressure taken. Every time I use the cut, they put the cuff on me, um, the motor one, uh, I, I bruise badly. So I have to go back next week as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I desperately want to go out and take some photographs. It's a bit grey. I've got a camera upstairs I'm going to grab. It's only got two or three shots on it and I want to finish them off. Um, I found a box that's got three rolls of film in it that have been shot. So I need to put them with my others. One of them I need to send off because it's slide film. And it's from 2017. It's before Jennifer. So it's probably wrecked, but I'll send it off anyway. I'll have a look at trying to do that next time I go get my uh, printer and the laptop set up because I need to print out the um, order form. But I'm tired. But yeah, I'm really, I want to get doing some photography. And I want to do something on my photography blog, which I've not done since 2018. I updated it at the beginning of the year and never did anything else, simply because of having Jennifer and I just haven't had any time. So if you are interested, it's Andrew Pike at WordPress. So it's Andrew Pike, or something like that, anyway, dot WordPress dot com. Um, if you put in just put in Andrea Pryke WordPress it will come up it's called travels with my camera um there's film and mostly digital but there is film on there if you want to have a look you don't have to but uh I better get back to work anyway I'll see you when I finish which won't be long right I'm at the car park I'm gonna pick up Jennifer in a minute I brought my camera with me um this Canon thing what is it a T50 nice camera works fine just want to finish the roll of film so I can get it listed on eBay and get it sold, get some cash, but uh, at the moment I haven't. But anyway, I'm going to get Jen and then I might take a few pictures of her sitting in the car to help finish up the roll of film. Of course, I've got tons of film to develop. Some of it's mine, some of it's found filming cameras I've bought, like this one. Uh, when you get behind on your developing, I'll show you when I get home. Okay, it's Wednesday night and everybody's gone to bed. Jennifer's asleep. It's early so I'm really tired. In fact, I fell asleep this afternoon and I missed uh, a phone call from the doctor's surgery for an asthma review. So I'm going to have to ring on tomorrow and profusely apologise. But it's partly because Jennifer was up her night having night terrors and I can't sleep when she's doing that. So I get so exhausted then I fall asleep. So I'm monitoring my blood pressure at home. So do expect these... Uh, Lovely red stripes on my arm to stay for a bit longer. And it's still high, it's far too high. Um, so I'm going to have to try and do a bit more exercise, try and eat more sensible, because I must admit I've got such a sweet tooth and I've not eaten as much chocolate, which is good. So I'm going to try and eat a bit more healthy. I'll let you know how it goes, try and lose a bit of weight. Try and get my blood pressure, I can't even say it, you see, that's how bad it is, under control. So, um, I'll do my blood pressure again in the morning to see what it's like after I've slept. I've got the fan on because I'm warm. <sighs> but yeah, we'll have a salad tomorrow anyway because that's what I was planning to have, like chicken salad. So I like a chicken salad. I mean, I'm, I admit, I, I'm not big on salad stuff. I love tomatoes, I love onions. I love, that's about it. I'm not big on lettuce. I do eat it, but I cut it up into little bits, but at least I do eat it. Um, bit of chicken, one boiled egg, bit of protein there, as well as the chicken. A little bit of low-fat coleslaw. Cucumber I cannot stand, but I might force myself to eat it. <laughs> Gotta try. But it's not like I don't eat in the afternoons much. Or after dinner. So when we have our dinner, I try not to eat afterwards. Whereas Paul, in the night if he wakes up, he'll have a sandwich or, or something. Whereas I don't. So, but I need to do something. For Jennifer's sake. For my sake. But for Jennifer's sake. I need to exercise more. And that's the problem with working from home. We just don't get as much exercise as you used to. Walking to and from even the car park at work. Walking across to get her from the nursery. Things like that. It's just not as much so uh, we got to go and buy her a jumper on Saturday for school uh, so we might go up to the forest drive 
So if it's not too nasty, I think it's going to rain, but we'll see. If it's not too bad, we'll go for a nice little hike across the, up to the lake and back. It'd be nice. Just a little walk, about a, mile, a couple of miles. I have to try and find my Fitbit and charge it up. I haven't used it for ages. Anyway, that's it. And I will see you later. Thursday tomorrow. Yay! Hey guys, it is Thursday night. I haven't vlogged all day. I haven't been feeling 100%. I've been a bit off colour and extremely tired. I'm tired. I am just... I'm sitting in bed doing a bit of colouring before I go to sleep. Uh, it's getting on for 10 o'clock, I guess. I'm not going to be long. I'm charging up my Fitbit because I need to try and exercise more to get my blood pressure down. The only problem is at the moment I've only got one charging port that works. So my phone is almost dead, sitting here, and I need that because my alarm's on it. And my Fitbit is currently at 36%, so... I'm just going to carry on doing this. Now, I was going to show you the camera I was testing, but it's downstairs. Because it's a right old clunky thing. Right old clunky thing. It's weird. It's it's from the, I guess it's from the 80s. Um, but it's massive, or the 90s. It's a bridge camera. It, it's huge. But it is quite fun to use, so um, I mean... I, I'm only taking a few photos, I'm just trying to get used to it. So I am running some film through it. I'm gonna try and get some film next month. Because I have no 35 minute F 35 millimeter FP4, which is my favourite slower well they call it medium, but it's a slower speed film. I don't really go much slower than FP4, which is 125. Um I've got some HP5 Plus which is 400, the Tri-X, which is 400. I've got a couple of rolls of Cosmo, which is 100, but not much. So I am trying to get myself a brick. That's what we call uh, 10 rolls in a plastic thing. It's about 50 odd quid. So that's going to be a big expense next month. So I've got, I'm going to take a break off buying colouring books because I've got so many. I ordered another one today. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take a break off of the colouring books and supplies. I've got plenty of stuff to be going on with. Um, I've got some pre-orders in, which is fine. I will order odd ones here and there that I want, but I'm not going to be going for like 10 or 20 books a month. It's ridiculous because I'm not using them. And I want to get my unused books shelf down a bit because it's horrendously huge at the moment. So so I do apologise that I didn't vlog today. As I said I wasn't feeling it, feeling it today. I wasn't feeling very well. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to chill out, relax, colour for a little bit longer while my Fitbit charges, then I'm going to put my Fitbit on and wear it in bed, and then I'll put my phone on charge, and my phone will charge up fine overnight, so I need to find a charging port thing. We've got hundreds of them around the place, just that none of them seem to work. But there you go. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. It's Friday. Yeah. I'm actually working. I am watching a YouTube channel. Um, I can't remember what her name is, but it is. If I can see it, Chronic Coloring Down Under. She's a fairly new YouTuber. She's got 130 something subscribers. I've just subscribed. She's mentioned me several times already, so I'm really chuffed. So I'm happy to subscribe. I always like to find new people. I'm watching a haul, see what she's getting, because you've got to. I'm cutting back because I want to get some film and stuff and that's expensive and colour chemicals are expensive as well 2.5 litres of tetanol is £56 and a brick of FP4 is about the same so I need to have money for that next month but and I've got plenty of colouring books the battery is running out on this so I'll have to top that up when I finish work I've got one upstairs generally I'm just cracking on with my day and I will see you when I get Jennifer later and we take granddad shopping it's Saturday. I didn't do much vlogging yesterday because, well, you know. But we're going to go to Asda to buy some school jumpers for Jennifer. And some other bits and pieces. So, off we go! Home from Asda now. Paul is hoovering the grass, as you can hear. As I say, he's hoovering the grass, he's trimming it. Jennifer doesn't like the noise, she's hiding. It's quite sunny out, so I've got my colouring books out, a Coke and some pens. Have a little bit of a colour and a relax. Let's just show you the kid. Jennifer, say hello. No. There's Paul. No. Who's no. hoovering the grass? Hey. Paul's hoovering the grass? And that's it, really. Oh, we better put a new battery in. This is dying. 
Hey everybody, it is on the wrong Saturday, Saturday night. Um, everybody's in bed, everybody's asleep except for me. It's not that late, it's not even 10 o'clock. Um, I've just been filming part five of my complete colouring book collection, which is my uh, Colour in Heaven books, apart from the ones I haven't coloured in. <sighs> and I still have another three to go. It's going to be eight parts to it. That is a lot of colouring books. I have not counted them. I will do, <laughs> eventually. But, oh God, I'm hot. It is so warm. It is so flipping warm. I can't believe how hot I am. I am, um, yeah, I'm just going to pootle on through. I'm going to do a bit of colouring in a minute. I've got to watch a bit of TV before I go to bed. Just to chill out. After that, so it gets so hot with the lamp on, you see, the photo lamp because it lights up nicely although there was a lovely great big shadow from the stack of books as the stack of books was quite high I have pulled one to colour in because I really want to do some more in it but I'm looking at all these books and there's so many uh, yeah i got to cut back I, I mean I haven't bought as many this month I, I mean if we take out the free ones from Ava Brown I've got six and one of those is my subscription from Colour in Heaven so technically it's only five so that's not bad and I might buy Relax With Art tomorrow but I might not because part of me is wondering where the heck I'm going to put them all when I've coloured in them because my shelf of ones I haven't touched is overflowing the one that's got coloured pages and has got a bit of space but not much. Jade Summer won't fit all the Jade Summers if I coloured in every single one because I haven't yet. There's no way. There's a bit of space on the shelf with the Colour in Heaven books but that is not going to last if I keep moving stuff up from the other one. So for instance I could put up, I can't see what's there at the moment, um, that's got more than one. There is... Uh, Oh, I think April Amber's there. Um, it's hard to see because it's behind my lamp. This is where I keep my like my hardback ones. Um, I could put my Doctor Who ones up. I could, I, the only thing I think I probably would put up there, I could possibly put up Johanna Bassford set. Because that one, those take up a bit of space. But then I'm going to run out of space for my Colour in Heaven ones, my Hannah Lynn's, my Deborah Muller. My Camilla Angel Covers are on there, my Selena Fenex. I've just got to stop buying colouring books. I have got a shelf which I've got some photography books on at the moment because they're there to be read and, and filed away. I keep my photography books up in the attic just because there's so many of them and they're so heavy and big and I don't have the space. And they're on the shelves that are supposed to be for Marilyn Monroe because I've got three uh, six-foot bookcases of for Marilyn books, two of which are pretty much full, and one is about half full, um, mostly of, fi of, of fiction rather than non-fiction, although there is some um, um, non-fiction and fiction foreign language books on there. But in general, that's supposed to be all for Marilyn, and it's sort of like given way to think. I have got a shelf that's got my diaries on it. I could technically move them to where my unread fictional books are that would not hurt if as long as I put something against the wall so they didn't fall down so I might do that actually that will fill up a shelf big enough to possibly keep me going for a lot longer well it will keep me going for a lot longer but uh, um yeah and I could keep my tool. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll have a look at doing that. But that means I actually need to read some of the books that are on the shelf because there's too many of them. Some of them I might get rid of because they might not be my thing. I'll try the book one. There's a, like a 40 book series up there that goes through history following one dynasty, family dynasty through history. Um, I might try and find book one, read it. And if it's any good, then I'll keep them. Uh, but I need to start clearing that shelf. I I'm not, I'm not, don't need to do it right now. I can manage for a bit longer. But uh, I will be having to fill up the shelf with the colour in heavens on. It is fun though, collecting. 
anyway that's it i'm going to watch a bit of tv do a bit of coloring because i'm trying to finish off this uh, coloring um buddy color i'm doing with somebody she's finished this i haven't finished mine it's nearly done i just gotta get on to it so i'm gonna try and finish it tonight i'll see you tomorrow it's sunday last day of the week it's almost time to go back work again of course my blood pressure is still horrendously high i am taking um my blood pressure i haven't done it today but look at the state of my arm i don't know if you can see it very well but that is all bruises from the blood pressure monitor because i haven't done it today i will do it twice tomorrow and i'll see you then bye hey everybody it is sunday and we've been up for a while um been changing all the bedding so jennifer's room's done my spare room somewhere i sleep i'll admit most of the nights because i'm usually up late coloring and paul's done the double bed I went for a change this time normally i put on one of my hollywood sheets or my marilyn marilyn's in the wash i've gone for my vintage egyptian uh pattern one which i bought in worcester market over 20 years ago or around 20 years ago actually so it's vintage or very close to being vintage i'll tell you that i haven't had it on the ages but i love it so i will say i have created a tiktok I've never done TikTok, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I just wanted to watch some stuff, so I actually created one. I've called my channel, well, I've, my username is Andrea the Camera Girl, because uh, if I do anything on there, it's going to be photography related, because obviously my YouTube is all mostly colouring. Um, I would like to show off the cameras, but i got to be honest, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing there. So it's going to take me a while to figure it out. I know you can do record videos direct and put them straight up but i know that other people obviously make them on their computer and upload them so i need to look into how to do it because you know sometimes i'm going to want to just do straight to camera and other times i'm going to want to do stuff uh where i show photographs i've taken and things like that and i know it's possible because i've seen it done and i only last around 16 seconds but i thought i'd give it a go we'll see how it goes got two followers <laughs> i haven't put anything out one of them is my friend michelle so that's different so i also got a roll uh, three rolls of um lamography lady gray for a tenner off of pretty much a tenner it's less than that because the shipping was free from ebay it was 10.50 um it is out of date but only by two months so i'm not worried about that couple of months out so it should be fine and i have got a holger camera come in so i can take part in Holger week in october assuming it works again that was only cheap on ebay but i thought i'll try a roll of this out and see what it's like i put it in put plenty of cameras and i always get some more film that's what i'm buying in the next few months rather than um coloring books i will be buying more film obviously next month i'll be having my hair colored so that's going to be expensive um but uh, we'll see you about that later right next job is to get dressed and go shopping Sonny's going to get some clothes because they're in the washing machine, tumble dry. Not in the washing machine, obviously it'd be wet. So yeah, I have been doing a bit of colouring this morning. I finished off my buddy colour and posted that, so that's all good. That's all done. I've got a few books out that I want to colour in, including the um, Tenderful Enchantments, which is going to be a colouring chat. I have still got one, three more videos to go in my colouring book collection. So I'll try and do another one of those tonight. I've got two to go off. I'll be putting one up tonight. There won't be anything up tomorrow because tomorrow will be this video and then of course it'll be so on so i'll try and get this um put onto the camera onto the, c the computer later so for editing right i'm gonna go and get my clothes so i can get dressed shopping we are going to tesco i do like going to a bit of tesco i've got to get some cleansing lotion and some cotton buds so i've got a three pound voucher which i've got to remember to put in my purse <laughs> and yeah so we're gonna look for more tra trousers for jennifer for school as well so we'll do that now right i will see you in a bit let you know what's been going on hey everyone it is sunday night i've got to be honest i haven't done any vlogging today we've been busy um i probably spent a fortune on jen this week um we bought this really nice sort of set of jurassic world stuff there's uh Jurassic Explorer it says and they're gone. It's got a pair of leggings, black leggings that go with it. Paul wanted to have it. So it says Jurassic World on it. She loves them. But we also bought her black leggings for nursery school. Cause she's only in for two hours. So I just figured that the jogging bottom's gonna be too hot all the time. 
so and they can wear their own clothes if they want to really so it's not going to make a lot of difference um and uh, obviously another pair of trainers and a new pair of wellies to leave in the school and uh it's just been a busy day so i'm really tired so i was sitting here watching a little bit of finders uh beepers um i'm not going to film tonight because obviously this is going up tomorrow so i can film tomorrow night for the uh the next one i've got another one upstairs which i will bring down and um do tomorrow so i'm gonna knock this on the head and what did i say i'll see you tomorrow yeah we'll start it again tomorrow we'll see how it goes like i said some of these days we don't do a lot so i don't film but, you know you don't want to see us doing bugger all boring don't know what we're doing next weekend depends on the weather we might go out we might just go up the tower again and sometimes it's hard to, to film in some places because they have loud music on so so i'm going to go upstairs and i'm going to watch a bit of tv up there probably watch the old camera guy because i'm really enjoying his videos um just trying to think anything else to tell you oh i still haven't figured out what i'm going to do with the tiktok and how to work it so yeah i'm just doing a bit of coloring color by numbers in one of my jade summer books i like those um, I've just uploaded one video, so I've got one that needs editing, and this one, so that's two. And I'm doing okay. I'm very tired, um, but it's all good. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.